Hello everyone. We are getting ready to go to Emerald Lakes. And uh, Suresh is just trying to put that address on. And we're in the garage. Starting off now. See you soon. We praise you, our Almighty God, the King of Kings, the Creator of the whole universe, for this beautiful day, Lord, that you had given us. Thank you, Lord, that you gave us another day to live, and the breath that we have is from you, because you are a merciful God. Thank you, Lord, that we could go out for a drive today. We pray that you will be with us in our going out and in our coming in. May your angels of protection be around us and our vehicle. Give us a blessed time, Lord, as we enjoy the beauty of your creation. In Jesus' name, Amen. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Amen. Since there were some roadblocks, we made a U-turn and we headed back to see another place instead of Emerald Lake. When the weather is good, we love to drive up to the mountains. Sometimes we just go and just have a look around, enjoy the scenic view. At times we might stop by at one of the coffee houses over there. They sell excellent scones and tea. And then there's this um, restaurant called Cuckoo's Restaurant which is kind of a smorgasbord restaurant which was started in the 90s, 1950s by a German couple, uh, the first ever German smorgasbord uh, which has come to Australia. The staff are all dressed in um, Bavarian attire and they look so colorful and this restaurant not only sells quality food but they do sell even clocks <laughs> clocks from germany and there's this um, area where you see a wide uh, selection of clocks and this is a sight to see many people from across the world when they come to australia especially to melbourne and when they visit um, the dandenong ranges this is one of the places that uh, people do go and there's live music and entertainment and food. So uh, we, when we went there, uh, we saw busloads of people and coming from different countries, but it never felt uh, too crowded or anything like that. They've got huge rooms with a capacity of to seat probably f for more than 400 people, I would say. And also, uh, you'll be able to see quaint looking cafes uh, where I know you get good um, quality coffees. Of course, Melbourne is known for great coffee. 
and also there are lots of souvenir shops that you can browse through um it it's a really good place to relax and we enjoy uh, places like that and we had a great time uh, we used to uh, visit those places before the covid but now of course we had just gone for a drive and back that's about it but still we enjoy sometimes we stop the car and just go for a walk around the place and it's so relaxing enjoying the beauty that god has created as well as it's nice to see people coming from different cultures and taste different food very thankful for these opportunities we have reached now the cardinia reservoir and uh, today since it's a beautiful day the water looks beautiful and blue and the other side of the reservoir there's a nice park with barbecue and lots of people had come in today and um, having fun and games and family time good to see that